ladies and gentlemen, when when thinking about the greatest survival games of all time, a few a few games come to mind, right? You've got like The Forest, Subnautica, Green Hell, and for me, up there is Stranded Deep. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Today, what we're reacting to is, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest run of all time, the world record, which apparently has recently been absolutely destroyed. Stranded Deep world record in 35 minutes and 11 seconds dude by speedy deep i love his name dude his name is literally speedy deep make sure y'all go down subscribe to him and leave a like on this video i employed the whole new strategy that hinges on have the fuel made and everything i need for the entire entire run collected by the end of the first day skipped the bosses entirely went to get everything off and then went off and killed them before zipping to the ending ship to complete the run i actually when i played this I haven't actually seen the ending of this game because it wasn't even in the game when I beat this game. Like, I got to the end. I killed all the bosses and everything. People in my chat trolled me, said he had to shoot a flare. No, I didn't get to the ending. But since the time that I played this, I thought this would be the perfect time to react to it. They actually have added an ending into the game. I'm extremely, extremely excited for this. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the world record. Hello, my castaways, and welcome back to another Stranded Hello, Deep Castaway Speed Master. <laughs> wow, guys, I have an absolutely incredible run to show you today. So a lot of people have been asking for the glitch of speed run, and I will be doing one soon, but you can probably tell by the length of this video that this is not that. <laughs> so we are back for another glitches allowed, fixed seed, normal difficulty Ooh, speed Ooh, fixed seed. Now, so, so, so fixed seed means that it's like Minecraft where you basically get to like pick what you want your like world to look like. And you have to go off that. You, you, and, and essentially what he has done is he's created like the island layout that he likes. And he's going to go ahead and do that. I because assume. if someone beats my record, I can't just let that go. And if you've been following Stranded Deep Speed Runs, you probably know I'm talking about a Gork. So a Gork is my friendly nemesis in hey. the world of Stranded Deep. Hey, we hate and a Gork, dude. If you don't dude. know who he is, go check out his channel. No, he's a we great speedrunner. He's given me a run for my money plenty of times. <laughs> and he has helpful tips and uh, how-tos on Stranded Deep as well as some funny stuff on there, too. So, uh, no, not don't only shut did him he out. beat we my all... time, he we did it by playing speedy the same deep. seed as my world record. And I obviously can't just let that stand. So <laughs> I'm proud to say that I've come back very strong with a new strategy that has shed nearly 20% of the total time off. Oh the my record. god! Now, considering we cut the speedrun time from like four hours to under 45 minutes, I think that much of a drop at this point is downright staggering. So, I've employed a new strategy that seems so obvious, I really kind of feel stupid for not realizing it earlier. And uh, I've said a long time that a 35 minute run is possible. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is that run. So uh, I'm so excited, dude. This is going to be so sick. Okay. So, um, okay. All right. So here's, so the here's this island layout. I found it before I came up with this new strategy. So it's still not the ideal setup, but all the pertinent islands and bosses are in such a tight cluster, I figured it could work. So our basic plan is to skip all the bosses for the first day and focus on getting our potatoes and then kill them on and the getting the fuel distilled by the time we wake up on day two. Kill them now, all on that the might second sound day, simple, but it is like downright hectic. So keep in mind that in order to make our stills, we need to have three jerry cans and four plank scrap that we have to search through the wrecks for, emptying out the junk in the crates as we go, and, and it's all RNG with, uh, too. We collect for the stills and everything else too. We also need to find a bare minimum of two leather so that we can make a pickaxe to collect the clay, which we'll need for the stills as well. Now, we need to collect that clay before nightfall so that we can actually find the clay nodes in the water. And on top of that, we also need enough sticks and rocks to make the campfires, the fire rings that go around them, the frame for the fuel stills, and the kindling to light them. Now, hang on, we aren't done yet. We also need at least four lashings for the stills, one lashing for the axe, and one lashing for the shelter to sleep through the desert. Oh, the shark already! Now, hang on, we can't just go throwing these things together. We also need the know-how, aka level five crafting, to even make them. Now, you may just be thinking, chill out, we'll just go make some spears that we're gonna need for Lusco later, but we don't have enough time to just go doing that for our crafting levels. We need to get every single ounce of crafting experience possible out of every action to be able to get the fuel distilled by morning. So on top of doing everything else I just said, we also need to collect 40 fiber sleeves for 10 lashings and then use those lashings with 10 coconuts to make 10 coconut flasks that we'll need for more crafting XP and we'll use as our water to escape. And since we have to get 10 coconuts for those, we'll go ahead and grab five more for our food to escape as well. So guys keeping up. 
So that still won't be enough crafting XP. We will need to make a box or two of spears as well, craft the campfires and rings, and even the kindling to light the stills ahead of that level for more efficient XP. That still won't be enough. Now, practicing this method, my answer was just to make more spears that I didn't need, but it required more time for chopping wood, and it just wasn't efficient enough. So that's why this entire time I'm going to be running around uh, just turning stones into tool tips to fill that gap in so I can get the crafting XP uh, to get that still made by nightfall. <laughs> it's a, quite a process. Now, I hadn't actually paid attention to this until uh, Gork pointed it out, but it is a fixed 15 minutes for the first day from when you spawn in until the, the oh, first day. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so I have only 15 minutes to get this stuff together, uh, get to the island, get the potatoes, and, well, I mean everything I just said. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a race, <laughs> but then again, we are doing speed runs, so what do you expect? He just hogged that uh, out course, into the water. was part of this entire process. Uh, like, every time I've done a practice run or a failed run on yeah, doing it this method is just getting all this crap out of the crates. It takes forever. I would love it if Beam Team would uh, fix the uh, the patch that they made, which made it impossible for you to drop things out of your inventory. You have to hold them in your hand and then drop them. Uh, it slows me down probably a full like minute or two just getting everything out of these crates. That's uh, pretty annoying. I I've complained about it probably every time I've done a speed run since they Dude. it. But, uh, the amount I'm of sure big brain going on right now is way too much for me right man now, man. The amount of big brain. Okay. All right. So I have and he just got stuck by something. strategy <laughs> um, that I've been employing for the last couple uh, runs. It's just to have a uh, crate for gas, which is, you know. Like... Is, is he going to explain how he's literally moving at the speed of light? Because that is not normal to run as fast as he and swim as fast as he is swimming and the fact that he just launched up in the air is that gonna be explained the i hope so i can't make because that the is a glitch planks the leather the um potatoes the jerry cans all that stuff that i just have to collect up and then gas too which will be my stones and lashings and uh i don't collect up a palm tree uh like a log and a palm to make a uh shelter at the end of uh at the end of this island string but that was what the i had planned that space to be so i'll probably just be smashing more uh lashings in there to make potato or potatoes coconut flasks and stuff so i'm getting up my uh my rocks and then after i get these six any rock that i pass i'm gonna be turning into a stone tool tip i haven't calculated exactly how many of these i need to uh, fill that gap of crafting XP I was talking about, but it's probably somewhere in like the 10 to 15 uh, mark. So not a terrible amount, and if I just stop really quickly while I'm zipping around the map, then I can do that really, really fast. So he's leveling up his crafting experience so that at some point, he can craft the things he needs to not only kill the bosses, but also leave oh, the I entire island. The um, uh, besides the gas crates, I have a crate for sticks, a crate for the food, which nicely fits all of the coconut flasks. Why does he need so many and, sticks, too? Um, a couple extra coconuts for extra food if you need it in it. And then one of my crates is for just the stuff that I collect, like my uh, or Level the stuff up. that I have when I start off is. with like bandages, compasses, and some light sources. And then, let's see, what else do I have? I think that's all. Oh, and then crates for spears, of course. Bro, so he has already, like, obviously learned how to farm. I think at this point in the game, I was still trying to avoid the shark in the water and trying now, not to die. The reason I'm not making an axe right away on this island is because I know that there is a refined axe on the next island. So uh, while it is crafting XP that I could get, it's I'm not going to make it. Uh, yeah, I think... I don't think it actually matters what you make. It's just how many things you make. Dude, um, it seems like this game has so into. much potential. But, uh, so I figured it would probably be better to save the lashing for the axe and just make more uh, stone tool tips. Bro, it actually seems like this game the has whole, uh, so coconuts, much uh, island, speed run so potential. I wanted to just go ahead and get those out of the way so I don't have to think about it later. I don't know if I get all of them uh, on this first island, but I get most of them. Dude, I, I from the way he's the, from the way he's talking here, I almost think that this this run 
could get down like it seems like this is almost in its infancy of speedrunning right now it's like a new speedrunning game sure i bet I this game can get down to like for the gas 25 minutes flasks because if i'm caught without those then i'll have to wander around at dark to make more lashings oh i was wondering why he named all of his things it's because he's going to be carrying these boxes in his inventory the entire time and you can't like drop them open them up out oh, wrong one drop them open them up wrong one type thing because that's gonna just take a ton of time okay so i guess he's pretty much done with the first island and it's time oh my god Oh my All right, god! We're off to the second island. That's so hard to do to just. So when I'm coming in, or rather, go when I'm quickly. scouting these islands out, uh, I try to note where I put where I, where I put where I uh, find these potatoes, so that you know I have like a, pretty much a basic incoming trajectory uh, coming from the last island. So I just like note where the potatoes are based off of that incoming trajectory. And the uh, the survivor Dude. shelter on this was when I found this seed. I was I guess I just forgot about them. I just don't expect to find survivor shelters in speed runs anymore. They're so rare. But man, they are an awesome help with this uh, refined. Axe so so, there, so if you're doing like this is with a set seed. So he already knows the shape of all the islands. But what's actually on those islands is random. This is in, it's an insane uh, amount of I RNG. I'm happy with the one that has, I think there's a couple actually that have the refined spears in them. That would be great. Uh, the lashings is wonderful, but really just having more crates. I think there's like one- Potatoes are needed uh, for the fuel. Survivor shelter that has three crates instead of two. So uh, maybe in the future, if we can find, uh, get really, really lucky and have these, uh, have survivor shelters on two of the three islands that we need to visit maybe we can uh, knock this time down to under 30 minutes i'm before in the past i've said you know i've been very adamant about being like oh we can get under 40 minutes we can get under an hour we can get under 35 minutes now uh i don't know how easy it's going to be to get under 30 minutes that's going to be optimizing boss fights and like i hey, said getting lucky hey, with survivor shelters. never say never brother and, never you know, i really, guarantee really they managed to do it world. And, it, and you know what? I'm setting it at 25 minutes. If they ever beat 25 minutes on this speed run, I am going to literally come back and react to the new speed run. Yeah, if they ever beat so much 25. Yeah, that was a waste of lashing with that bow. But it just takes so much less time to craft these little stone tool tips instead of, uh, you know, chopping down logs or even just crafting. Uh, oh my gosh, that speed, or, that no speed boost is insane. So. Okay, let's see. Let's see what he gets here. So he's gonna drop a bunch of lashings. So I, I don't actually know what the requirements are to beat the game. Obviously, it sounds like he has to kill all three of the huge bosses in the sea, which is really hard to do. Um, oh, was he gonna get? Is he gonna now start crafting some stuff? Those two stone tool tips because that reminded me that I needed to make a uh, pickaxe. That's one of the things that I, uh, in the handful of times I've tried this method. I want to see it or not. That's one of the things I forget a lot is getting the clay. Just it's just something I I don't know why. I just struggle to Hey, I feel that. I feel that. You don't have to tell me twice. So he's making some crude spears, and then I guess he's gonna use these spears for the boss now, fight. <laughs> I really hate uh, how I like watch how you can see the shadows moving. That gives me such anxiety when I'm doing these speed runs because like it's just time ticking right in front of my eyes look at those look at those shadows move oh, <laughs> you're, you're trying to go literally as fast as possible and then you can just see time moving right right in front of you especially for a game like this okay you got the All pickaxe right. we had the level right there to be able to make our pickaxe so he was also trying to level up so he could even make the pickaxe thankfully i find a uh, clay node pretty quick here yeah right there it's not in the best spot but I'm not going to go looking for another one, that's for sure. Ooh, that clay is hiding down there, man. Bro, I, I, I would have lost these clay nodes, I'm not going to lie. Clay. Oh my gosh, dude. When you, like, dolphin dive out of the water, that is the funniest thing, man. He's going to put that in his gas right there. Because the gas is uh, what he needs to like basically build a furnace on. So this apparently is a that different strategy. All the lashings I need for the still and most that I need for the coconut flasks. 
So he's crafting more things, and the coconut flasks also are... So if you're keeping count, I'll still need five more lashings to be able to make uh, my shelter and the rest of the coconut flasks. Bro, the inventory management is nuts, man. And here he goes. <laughs> Dude, the hardest part of the game, which is traveling from island to island and also keeping all the supplies you find. And there is our ending ship. Um, oh, <laughs> that's right. I started going off to the wrong island. Uh, I had a bit of trouble with ending that ship? on this run just because I was, like like I said, it's it's very hectic doing all this by the first night. So I was struggling a lot to be able to uh So apparently he only has four more minutes till the first night. It was really stressing me out. So I was... I was Kind of oh my god the dolphin uh, dive it's the keep, keep, keep up dude and uh ooh, that was a nice landing uh and it almost got me lost a couple of times in fact i almost didn't even make this time i almost didn't even complete this run because at the very end i i went zipping off in what i thought was the right direction i completely got lost but then i just happened to find my way it was uh dude it is lucky. so easy to get lost in this game Especially if you don't know what your map looks like. Like, I had no idea that there was, like, a map of my islands. Oh, gas container. That's huge. Oh, he's got king crab over here. King crab. Okay, baby crabs are whatever. King crab. You don't want to F so with you'll king crab. I, when I jumped off of that kind of high... Uh, I know he needs that. ...actually hurt me. But that's uh, one of the quirks of this, like, speed walking and swim jumping kind of thing. Speed if walking you, and I mean, swim jumping. Sure, if you've noticed that I've swam and jumped out of the water and reached some really incredible heights, but I didn't take any fall damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the game just registers your height as, like, right above the water when you do that. So you can go anywhere you want doing that. But if you uh, speed walk off of a tall surface like a palm tree or... Yeah, end up on one of the uh, big rocks on the uh, uh, the middle rocks on like the big islands that have cliffs everywhere. And you speed walk off of that on the land. Uh, that will kill you or hurt you, like it did just there. Why does he need so, so many coconut flasks? Very handy for getting onto the ending ship. Hmm. Very handy for. What is the ending ship? That is that is new. Whatever the ending ship is is not something that I've done before. So I think so I think with the wooden sticks, nice, he got a potato, he needed that. Uh, 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 oh, oh my god. Yeah, I'll take some free uh, uh hunter levels here, Mr. Crab. That's cool. <laughs> wait, wait. He he actually wanted that to happen. So he's got the gas one. So the reason Speaking I of hunter levels, one of the ways that this world could have been more ideal uh was if the boss location for Luska and Meg were switched. Um, so if you remember our speedrun map, Meg was the boss location that was just north of our starting island. And I really would have preferred Luska to have been there because if he is our last boss, then we get more hunter levels from uh, the Abia and Meg, which are arguably way easier bosses. And uh, with more hunter levels, we do more damage for every spear that we toss at Luska. So pretty good. And this other crab doesn't want to leave me alone. <laughs> wait, the, the, the crab's like, wait, no, I was just kidding, man. I was just kidding. Don't so kill I me. I <laughs> made a little bit of a mistake. Uh, I didn't collect all the sticks as early as I wanted, but this is also an island that has ficus on it, so it didn't really matter. Um, yeah, I figured I Dude, could just run around. Dude, this is so interesting, man. Like, like there's so much the management. Ah! Did I kill one on the previous? Ah. I feel I feel like this is the first game that we're that we're watching that really really like survival game speedrun that really really is a survival a game speedrun. Like hiding in a bush on this island. Um, I'm not missing any more potatoes after the last one, man. That was a that was a mistake. I'm not gonna make again. <laughs> and I say that I probably will, but you won't see it. So <laughs> the speedrunner's curse, man. Okay, there we go. He found the he found the potato he was looking for. You need those potatoes for the fuels. Again, why he needs fuels, I don't actually know anymore. Um, but I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll show itself. So I'm starting to get There's a little nervous at this point in the run because, as you can tell, it's getting dark, and I still don't have all the stuff I need or the crafting levels I need. Now I'm pretty certain uh, at this point in my head while I'm playing the run that I've crafted enough stone tooltips to bridge that gap, but I 
don't actually know because like I said earlier, I never did the math to find out how many stone tool pips I needed to make that difference. This is gonna build fire pits. Quick craft another coconut flask. And that was the last uh, coconut flask we needed for food. For food? All that is for food? I'm, I'm so confused. Stick. He's gonna grab the sticks. So I'm pretty sure the spears are what he needs to actually kill the bosses. You chuck spears and the spears actually do like the most damage if you just throw the spears. So that's probably what he's going for right now. Here's the jerry can. This the shark music, dude. And so I'm heading off into the island to uh, <laughs> try and make up some more spears, which is uh, ultimately good because I will need those for Luska. <laughs> this is great. He's holding the little lantern in front of him just so he just so he sees the uh, sees everything. Oh, and then these trees are the easiest one. I remember from my playthrough, these trees are the easiest ones to chop down, and you get two like normal sticks from them. The other ones take forever to to, to turn into uh, spears like this. I mean, if you're killing all three bosses, you need a lot. Just checking that crafting level, and of course, I still don't have it yet. Pain actual pain see it really is like because with the forest speed run it was all like jump tricks and there's like barely any crafting i feel like and uh, subnautica was, it was subnautica was pretty it was I don't pretty know why insane I kept on walking past that one uh, which like is four stick ficus over there that would have made sense to just use that one but hey whatever um the uh apparently there we go we're ready with, to go. uh and I figured I'd Subnautica has a new for, world uh, record as well. I probably won't have enough. <laughs> uh, Subnautica has a wor new world record. So if y'all be interested in, in me watching the new Subnautica world record, I really, really want to, man. I Subnautica is such a, a such a good, good game, man. Oh, no, I needed them for the still because I didn't collect uh, enough sticks earlier. That's why. So his, yes. He's, so now he's collecting everything he needs for the, uh, for the big, like, yeah, the fuel still. Yes, sir. So he's making two of them, interestingly enough. Four potatoes into each one. All right, and we are off to the races. So this is where the run really gets exciting for me, at least, because it's all just speed walking, getting to the bosses, killing them as fast as possible, and then getting the hell out of here as fast as possible, too. Oh, my. <laughs> How did you do that so fast? What in the world? <laughs> I think I still need to make my uh, shelter, and that is the last thing that I'll have to do. And then it's just killing bosses? Or, yeah, just killing bosses. <laughs> Just chuck them. <laughs> Who needs them, man? <laughs> he yeeted we those things, human. man. We throw these things like hundreds of meters. Dude, this is such an interesting glitch that allows you to just move so fast. There was one more, uh, one more fibrous leaf and tree. And I am yucca, yucca trees. around in the center of the island for palm saplings because that's a great idea. <laughs> I mean, they do show up there, but I should be walking around. Oh, that's right. We had extra yucca trees. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. I mean, is, is he... I need to find a nice short palm so we don't have to chop a whole bunch of logs off of it and make our shelter. And? There it is. And luckily, even though that palm tree was embedded in that bush, it didn't, like, you know, fly off into space like they like to do sometimes. Yeah, so you, so you have to separate all the palm parts so that you can... You can take the leaves and make the shelter. I guess maybe making a shelter is the uh oh you can literally just make a make a shelter out of one palm. Oh he's sleeping and till that daytime. Is fuel by the first or second morning, guys. I think that's the first time anybody's ever done that. That's insane, bro. So he gets I would say that should be a speed run in and of itself, but uh, I don't really want to do this if I don't have to do it for a speed run. It is very stressful. It's the second jerry can. 
So, so he basically, he's gotten rid of his other things. He he wanted right, to get that second jerry can now out of there so he could refill it. So he had maximum fuel. So I can go to Luska and the Avia, then go off to Meg, and then basically come right back here so I can go to our uh, ending ship. So that's one of the ways this world could have been better is if I had the three islands with potatoes and all the supplies I needed first, and then I could just sleep and then go, instead of backtracking, go further onto the three bosses in the ending ship. I would love it if we just had all of those things in one straight line or like, you know, kind of a zigzag or something or even a crescent uh, around our starting island. So That's much RNG, man. For. So if you guys find a world that looks There's like so that, much RNG. Uh, please, please let me know. Cause I have been, I have, <laughs> I have rolled probably well over 1500 world seeds. Oh my God. For that one world. Wait, did Moose just come in? Me. Moose, how are they doing this? So, so I guess in this, it's not like, I, I think with Minecraft, you can like literally put in the, the things that you want, or you can just like quickly spin them. I think in this, you literally have to load it up in order to see how good the seed actually is. We really woke up at like the perfect time, uh, to get this done all in the daylight because the sun was just coming up. I mean, honestly, if we had woken up at 5.30 or uh, like 4.30 when it was still dark, we had a couple minutes uh, for the sun to come up before we got back to the starting <laughs> line. So it would have been okay. <laughs> Wait, but even sleeping is RNG? So I don't even have to mess around with anything else. Oh, here we go, first boss fight. Perfect. This is the eel, isn't it? Yep, it's that's the eel. All right, we're just gonna chop this guy up with our axe. We're saving all those spears for um, Luska, because you can't just chase him down with an axe. You either chase him with his boss location, and then he respawns with full health, or he. Bro, this is how is I love how he's explained every single detail except for how he literally like breathes uh, or uh, goes super speed underwater. I like how that's the one thing. One of the things I would have liked to have had on this run was an air can. I don't think Ugh. I even found one in the beginning. Or this if freaks I did, me I out, man. It, out. Um, it would have been helpful, but I don't think it, it would have just made me more comfortable. It wouldn't have actually saved me that much time. Uh, maybe a little bit on Muska, but not so much for me. You ever just chop an eel up with an axe swimming at 500 miles per hour underwater? <laughs> so he leveled up hunting there. Bro, that, even though it's like, he's like literally uh, like Aquaman right now, I still get like... I'm just getting my method down. Uh, trying not to go too fast. Like I still get freaked out watching this. Because it's like so underwater. Easy to go faster than the bosses. Uh, it's very, very hard to match their speed. It's just one of the quirks of speed walking. Um, very difficult to do, but if I can nail that for both Avi and the Meg, I can probably drop my boss time drastically. In fact, if I can do that just right, I might even be um, a world record boss kill time too, which would be cool. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it dead? Oh, it's dead. The most of the bosses sits around like 30, 35, maybe like under 30 for Mig, around 30 for Avia, and then I want to say like 45 or 40 for Luska. Seconds? Yeah. Luska the Great. It's it's me. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy this guy is literally just the speedrunning god for this game. All right, so he yeah, did yeah, did he just eat the crate? I didn't even notice. So, uh, I did a new uh, kind of trick this time with the crates as well. I realized that you could just drop the crates, and I mean, I've realized this for a while, I just never thought to actually do this boss. But you can just drop the crates and really quickly access them and get everything out of them, so you don't have to go up to the surface. One of the reasons I would love to have it here, and I wouldn't have to uh, screw with that, but whatever, it is what it is. Blue Scott does not know how to handle him being right underneath this, man. Now, uh, I think right about now is when I'm realizing that I did not restore my uh, food and water. So I'm like completely dehydrated or something right now. Oh my uh, God, so that, that was to, scary. I need to go heal my, uh, or get my food and water back up. So if he does bite me, I can heal myself. Because right now, he starts attacking me. 
Hello? Can anyone hear what he's saying? I can't hear him over the giant squid and yelling. I wonder if he grabs all the spears out of here. I, I remember you can actually grab the spears out. I do love that swim jumping for this reason. I can get a full breath and kind of just have like a second or two of respite from the boss. I don't have to mess around with, you know, trying to swim. Uh, I could hit like that, like that exact thing. So I have to be standing. I can't be swimming to eat that ration. Oh, I guess it still counted it. Oh my gosh, look how many spears are in it. <laughs> Hey, that hey. was actually a bit risky. Um, that crate had my fuel in it. So if I had dropped that or it had fallen off in the uh, couple seconds where I had it up there, um, I would have had to go down to the bottom of the ocean to get it. And that doesn't always work. It's very hard to find things down there. That is actually terrifying. So I wish I'd had more spears so I could have just kept on safely chucking them at him, but... I've also been practicing killing him with an axe, or at least doing some of the damage with an axe. Uh, it's difficult, Dude. but you can. When, when, when you have too, literally too him. much if, speed, like when you're kind of closing in on him, you turn right as you go to hit him, and then uh, I think he's just not fast enough to like hit you with his tentacle. Like he he goes to hit you, and then you're already gone, uh, which wouldn't happen if you weren't speed walking. You definitely would. This, dude, dude, the speed walking seems like actually a little bit of a detriment too. Not gonna lie. I would oh. like to kill Luska a whole lot faster, but <laughs> just didn't work out that way. It's okay. Um, I was just happy to complete this run, especially with such an incredible time. It seems like it seems like this could be optimized a whole lot. It's not the best. But, hey, got the job done. <laughs> there we go. Now he's dead. Okay, so. Right. Does he not go for all of his. Uh... Oh, he doesn't even care about his spears. How is he gonna? How is he gonna kill the Meg? Is he? Is he gonna just uh, axe it to death again? So Luska, I mean, if you can axe the Meg, Luska definitely seems like the hardest one. Oh, there's the whale, man. There's the whale. Woo, coming in hot. <laughs> Bro, this this speed, speed glitch is the greatest thing ever. While she's jumping through the air, uh, like she does sometimes to like bite you. I wonder if she would stop or if she would continue into the water. <laughs> Didn't do it, but. Dude, this guy is really just speed running the three hardest things in the entire game. And he's just in the water with it. It's still scary, it still freaks me out. I think I think the uh, I think that eel is the scariest one though. If you can kind of get inside inside. Oh God, it sounds terrible. <laughs> you can kind of uh, get inside of the Meg's like uh, sprite, so you can see you know through her. She will kind of do this thing where she uh, tries to turn to get you, and she'll kind of circle you. So that's what I've been trying to do, uh, so that I can just keep on hitting her nonstop. Oh, the, oh yeah, there's a little radio beacon on the Meg too. Okay. All right. Meg is now dead. Now we're done. Now we've gotten all the boss kills. We just gotta go find the ending ship island. And damn, I, uh, I almost got lost here, like I said earlier. I was trying to go straight through the islands instead of going to one island and the other just to save like a couple seconds and it almost ended up costing me the entire run. Yeah, you don't, dude. Yeah, see, I just got You just go island to island. Like, Wait, is that where I need to go? And if you, if you lose your home island as well, you're screwed. You're literally screwed. Uh oh. Dude, this is. <laughs> imagine doing all of that, killing all three bosses, mixed having the god me, RNG. Uh, finding myself. Uh, finding out where I am in the world and looking at my notes to say, see where I need to go next. <laughs> like, I can't figure out which one was the uh, island I'm on now. So. God. <laughs> so stressful. Dude. I, yeah, getting lost in this game, like, even just on a normal run, was the worst thing, man. Oh my god, there is a giant ship. Wait a second. Wait, what? Yeah. 
That was not in the game when I played. Now, we can't actually get up to the uh, plane until this ending ramp renders in. Uh, if you try and, well, if you try and speed walk and jump on top, you'll just fall right through. You don't hurt yourself, like always with speed walking, but, um, yeah, you just, you just fall right through it, then you have to go up again. Is there, is there a final boss fight? What is? Okay, so you have to wait there for this go. ramp right. to render. And then as soon as you I do that. I absolutely love doing this. It's <laughs> always so fun. It's the perfect way to end a speed run too. It just looks so badass. Jerry can. <gasps> There's like a literal actual plane. You can do a little like terrible plane, but that's like an actual plane. So this is, this is why you needed all the food and water. So you get the parts, you get the parts for killing the bosses and then you put in food and water to stock the, oh, cause the, the, the coconut flask are literally waters. So you water it with that. And then food, you just use the regular coconuts, but you want to split them, right? So those make them drinkable I think coconuts. Even still now, I was like you wondering split all of them. what is gonna screw up because I just cannot believe that I'm here at this time. <laughs> so the, then they become, the coconut halves become food. So all we gotta do now is pop this stuff into these crates and uh, make our parts for the plane and get out of here. And that's the run. Now, I, I still really wish that Team Team for, would uh, the put in quick crafting for the parts of the in-plane. It's really just a convenience thing. It's not going to save me that much time, maybe like a second or two. Um, maybe on the next couple speed runs that me and Gork battle back and forth through, I will uh, feel differently about that second or two. But for now, it's, uh, like I said, just a matter of convenience. Not and that you shouldn't be listening, Beam Team. <laughs> I think... It's All done. Right, it's done. Let's go. Let's get home. Go home. Wow. They actually added an ending to the game. That's insane. They actually added an ending. And it's like a real escape, too. Is he going to close that? Uh... Oh, yeah, he, he's yeah, nodding. I'm, I was I'm like, nodding. what is he doing? I'm happy. We're doing it. A real ending to the video game. Wow. Wait, so there's still something he has to do because the time is still going. His overall time is 35 minutes. Do you actually have to fly it? All right, potato fuel plane. Wait, he still has to do something in order to escape. Maybe it's just these couple of interact things. Imagine, imagine after trying to like leave, you get, you, you die or you just, you, you did something incorrectly on your plane here. Hold E to launch. And that's it. Last interactable action in the game. Oh, so the, the, yeah. ooh, don't crash. Going home. Okay, so basically, th they don't time Not it off like the last interactable action. They don't time it off the last interactable action. They time it when the like end credits hit or like the end game screen, whatever. Most Beautiful games time it with the last thing yeah, that, yeah, that you can actually do as one. a speedrunner, Most being the. He did not. <laughs> I got him here, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Doke. So what is, what, where, what is the last minute and 11 seconds? What happens? So, oh, going there's forward, more. I am finally going to be doing the glitchless run. Um, Boo. It's going to take a lot longer. And Boo. it's going to be a lot more difficult <laughs> since I don't have glitches to fall back on. But I'll be doing that one next. And um, I am planning on doing the random world seed run after that. It's That one might take me a lot longer to put out because I just don't know what I'm going to get. And Ugh. it's taking me like a ridiculous amount of time. I'll probably just like nix the run and uh, start over. Uh, Dude, I did one random, random seed sounds terrible. Uh, 
like a couple weeks ago, and I ended up with two of the boss locations and the ending ship right next to my center island. So I'm thinking that was probably my one chance. Uh, my one chance to actually uh, do that, but not uh, not gonna probably not gonna work out that well in the future. Wait, All what right. is this ending? This is the end. So, as you can probably tell, I didn't make the 35 minute mark, but that's 35 minutes and 11 seconds. That's pretty damn close, so I am very happy with it. If you guys enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. It really yes, sir, go do that. Yeah, go, everyone make sure you check out Speedy Deep. Wait, the ending of the game is that you crash into the plane? One practice random seed run. That uh, you were in like to start the ago, game? And I ended up with two of the boss locations and the ending ship right next to my center island. So I'm thinking that was probably my one. <laughs> Wait! At the very beginning of the game, when your plane crashes, you are the one that caused your own plane crash? Uh, dude, these games and their like mind twisting endings are like <laughs> unbelievable. Anyway, that was a lot of fun to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this speedy deep. Make sure y'all check him out. He's, he seems like a super, super cool guy. Make sure y'all go and uh, support him on this channel. Give him a like. Tell him I sent you. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this run. If you guys want me to come back to this, revisit this, let me know. If you want me to go back and see the new Subnautica speedrun, let me know. Subnautica is like literally one of my favorite speedruns of all time. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. 07, baby. See you in the next one.